Yo, what's up, guys? It is better. Welcome back to another video. Today it's Sheffield Wednesday versus Birmingham City. Friday night, 8 p.m. at Hillsborough, and uh, it's a big game in Wednesday's season. You know, after that huge 4-0 loss to Huddersfield away last weekend, we need a response. Wednesday need well, nothing but a win really today. Um, and to be honest, I don't really see us getting a win today. I feel like we're quite low on confidence again. Uh, there's also going to be lots of protests in this game, which might be, you know, the main focus of today's game. Um, I can see uh, that getting lots of media attention. Obviously, the game's on Sky, um, so there's going to be lots of chance for all the fans to voice their opinion against Mr. Chan Siri. But hopefully today, you know, we can we can have protests, but we can also get a result. We need it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, these home games against bottom, you know, lower mid-table sides, we need to start winning these. It was frustrating against Watford the other week where we didn't get three points and I'm hoping that today it's not a reoccurrence of that. We need to just be more clinical and uh, put the ball in the back of the net basically and hopefully we can get three points. That being said, I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw today. I don't think we'll have enough to, to, to win. As I said before, I feel like we're not really in a great shape right now. Uh, as a team, confidence-wise, and I think we might slip up and uh, drop drop two points today. But hopefully, we can still at least get something from this game. But yeah, let's move on to my predicted lineup. Right then, guys, on the left here we have got my predicted lineup through the Fan Hub app, and in goal I've got James Beadle. We've got a back four of uh, Akinfemewo, Dijon Bernard, Paul Valentin, and uh, Marvin Johnson. And then in midfield I've gone for Bannon and um, uh, Will Volks. And then I've gone for a front four of Kadamatri, Ugbo, Musaba and Gasaba. Uh, so yeah, I think this is probably one of the best uh, things we can do. Obviously, Winda's still out. And also, you know, players like Gregory, Jeff Hendrick as well, all unregistered as well. So we have uh, limited options now, I think, um, with, uh, with our choices of starting lineup. Hopefully, uh, we can have good options on the bench as well today to uh, hopefully make some impact uh, if we do fall behind in this game today against Birmingham City. If you guys do want to get involved and get yourselves on the Fanho app to predict lineups like me, then make sure to download the app in the description and use my discount code or golden ticket code on the screen here. And uh, when you use that, when you go on the app, you can skip the queue and uh, get straight on the app and predict lineups, uh, predict games, check into games, and use your fan fee points to buy things on the Fanho store. Anyway, let's move on to Danny Roll's team for the Owls. Right then guys, on the left, again, here we have actually got Danny Rowe's team in goal. Beadle, uh, back four, Valentin, Bernard, Fainwell and Johnson. So I've got the back four correct. Uh, and then it falls a bit down here with my prediction. And then Momo, Diaby and Bannon in the midfield. And there's a front four of Paveda, Ugbo, Kusama and Kadamachi. I'm guessing Paveda probably playing out wide, taking Masaba's side here. Uh, but yeah, it's Paveda's first start. I thought when he played, well, I didn't really see much of him at Huddersfield because he came on when the game, game was kind of dead but he looked all right he looked quite technical on the ball so hopefully you know with a full at least 60 70 minutes uh in today's game against Birmingham we can see a bit more of him uh, that's interesting I'm looking forward to that uh, on the subs we got uh, Pierce Charles, Sakera, Palmer, Ihequa, Pedersen, Volks, Wilkes, Masaba and Smith and yeah uh, what can I say the bench is um not great for options I'd probably say there's about three four decent options there on the bench. I think mean, Pedersen and Wilk should probably stay far away from the team. They're both literally awful. I don't know how they've registered ahead of, you know, Jeff Hendrick and uh, Lee Gregory, really. I mean, they're not, they're both not great either, but still, like, they were some bad players. Like. But anyway, uh, I'm happy with the team, to be honest. Uh, happy that Pervade is getting a start. Let's see what he can actually do. You know, we may as well give him a go. Um, the players we've been playing at the moment haven't been performing, so, you know, may as well give him a go and hopefully, they can help Wednesday secure three points today. Anyway, guys, let's head over to Hillsborough and hopefully the Owls can get a result. Come on, Wednesday. Marvin Johnson. Number 23, Adam for Maywell. 36, for Vega. 41.
9th of February 2024 in Skyman Championship. Let up by our referee Andy Davis. Please welcome Birmingham City and Sheffield Wednesday. They probably should have scored. I didn't get it on camera, but yeah, now it's scored. 1 0. Brilliant start. Come on. Oh, fucking hell. Get it in the box. Oh, we always do this dawdling on the edge of the box. Go on, Pervada. That was beautiful. That would have been beautiful. Oh man. Come on. Come yeah. on. Ugbo. Oh. Come on, Ugbo. Oh. 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 God, bury him. I don't know how they've just scored that. I swear they've got that one in, but. Jesus, man. This game is like weirdly end to end, but it's also. This spells where it's boring for about 10 minutes. It's been the weirdest game I've watched this season, I think. Right. An official side. Three. What a save by Beadle. What a save. Deflected and it was off. I'd love to show the replay, but, you know, run out of electricity, so. In there. Shit. Oh my god, I don't know how that hasn't gone in. Genuinely, I don't know how we're still winning. Claps around, half time. Quite a well, to be fair, we're winning one nil at least. Um, so, three points at the moment going into the half time break. But we've been a little poor defensively. I feel like we should have conceded a few times at least. But we also had a chance of our own. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, one nil. Positivity going into the end of the first half. Let's keep it up second. Come on, Wes. That's coming back out for the second half. Come on, Wes. Big performance here, we can secure three points here. Come on. Second off, come on, boys. Rob Bannon in there. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, my God, man. How have we not scored? There, Bannon. Come on, Johnson in there. Both been brilliant, by the way. Him and Pervader both have been brilliant. That's a great cross from Johnson. And a great header from Ogbo. Let's go. A brace. A brace for the January signing. Come on, lads! Shit. What a block. Yes, Johnson. Momo coming off here for uh, Will Volksy. He's not been too bad. Eh? He's had a lot of worse games. But yeah, he looks quite injured here, so hopefully he's not after too long. So uh, it's a little foggier, but 10 minutes to go. I uh, oh! think we hopefully should be okay. Still 2 0 up. Hopefully we can get another maybe for the goal difference. But he's coming off for uh, Smith here. Good player. He's done well as well. Again, pressing up front. And we got Musaba and Ehekma coming off. So, Musaba on for uh, Ian Pavel. He's been brilliant. And uh, Akin Pavel, I guess, is coming off as well for Michael Ehekma. <laughs> Big Mr. Marv coming off for uh, Christian Patterson. Hopefully, he has a better game than he did against Huddersfield. Yeah. 
on a mark. Good assist today. Eight minutes of added time to go. Eight more minutes I can go home. I'm freezing. Oh. What a save. Jesus, man. What a save again from Beadle. He's been really good today. Oh, out there. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. Ah, how is it not in the goal? Goal mark scramble. And it... We've not conceded. How? Birmingham are genuinely shocking me with how they haven't scored today. But we'll take it. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Smith scrapping number six. That's probably going to get the handbags out, maybe some cards too. For six. He aggravated it. So, uh, I guess they both get a yellow. Now, bloody hell. Yes! 2 0 win. Lovely. What a, what a man. Double win for the Owls. Five points off. So, yeah. But a good result and a good performance there, actually. Been well proud of that. Very Escobedo, what a player. What a lot. Daddy! Daddy Rowe! Come on! Good job, Daddy Rowe. Well done, Daddy Rowe. Thank you, Daddy. What a result. Right then, guys, back from the ground now, and uh, yeah, what a what a result for the Owls. I'm glad we managed to uh, see it out in the end, get a 2-0 victory over Birmingham City there. Scotland probably didn't reflect uh, the actual game. I thought Birmingham were probably a lot better than the scoreline showed. Uh, they out xg would us. They probably scored, could have scored, should have scored a couple of times. Um, but, you know, James Beadle was great at the back. Uh, he made loads of saves, and those are really good saves as well. Um, and the defence was, was pretty good as well. I mean, uh, Marvin Johnson was great, I think. Uh, but mainly, I think, Birmingham's team just weren't too great in front of goal, weren't clinical enough today. And that worked out in our favour because E.K. Ogbo was on fire. He's got, got two goals bracing this game. Two very well-taking goals as well, I must say. And, uh, yeah, uh, great from him. Jan Paveda, I thought, as well, was another standout player today. He was brilliant when he played. Uh, run with the ball, uh, and it just the ball just seemed to stick to his feet. It was lovely to watch. Um, but yeah, uh, another great performance from the hours. What well, I say, another uh, a, a great performance from the hours after a, a few pretty honking losses. You know, after Southampton, Coventry, and Huddersfield. Hopefully now, uh, after this home game, uh, we can get a bit more confidence back up and uh, get back into uh, some good form. And uh, yeah, next up, we have got um, Leicester away uh, on Tuesday, which is obviously not going to be the greatest of games. So probably will lose that one. But then Millwall away on the weekend will be a, a big one again for Wednesday, uh, hoping that we can get something from that. But yeah, again, as I said, well happy with the, uh, with the boys today. And um, yeah, I'm just glad we got three points. One step closer to hopefully safety in the championship. But yeah. That's been it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. But that's been it for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next one.